Today we're talking about common mistakes that sellers make and how you can avoid them in order to get the best deal for your home. Mistake number one is overpricing your home. Now we are entering quarter four of the year and during Q4 home price appreciation typically slows. So home prices may still appreciate but it's not going to be at the same rate that maybe they did during the spring and summer market. So if you're looking to list your home in the last quarter of the year and you're looking at homes that have sold during Q2 and Q3, you probably need to price right at what those homes sold for or maybe even a little below so that you create a bidding war and you get the most money for your property. And the last thing you want to do is take that last sold price in your subdivision and try to add 10, 15, 20% to it as your list price because homes are sitting on the market a little bit longer right now and it's probably going to end up hurting you a lot more than if you'd have priced it a little bit lower, a little bit more aggressively and let the buyers determine the end price for that house. Mistake number two is neglecting repairs. Now, a lot of people put their home on the market and they think, oh, I'm selling it as is. I'm not doing anything else to it. But that is actually going to cost you money in the long run because the buyer's going to do a home inspection. And if they find numerous leaky faucets, things that have obviously been an issue for a little bit that have just been neglected, that may make them want to terminate the contract because they're going to worry about the overall maintenance that you have done on the house in general. So to be sure you take care of any minor repairs before you list the home to minimize what is found during a home inspection. Mistake number three is poor staging. A lot of people don't want to take the time to declutter their home. They make the decision to go on the market and they want to be on the market now. They want to sell now, which I get. I totally understand. However, you need to make sure that you're making your home have the best image it can possibly have, not just for photos, but for the potential buyers that are coming through there as well. A cluttered home or an overly personalized home can make it hard for buyers to envision themselves living there. Mistake number four is limited marketing. Some sellers underestimate the power of marketing and simply putting a for sale sign in the yard, sticking it on the MLS is not going to cut it anymore. So make sure that your agent is utilizing online listings, they're on social media, they're using professional photography to showcase your home to a much bigger audience. Mistake number five is ignoring professional advice. So a lot of times I'll meet with sellers, we'll have a conversation about what their goals are, what their motivation is to sell, what their plans are once they have sold the home, and I'll give them kind of my synopsis of this is what we need to price it at, these are the things you need to do to get your home ready to sell, and try to help them go through this process. And they're like, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, but, and they want to put the button there and they want to do their own thing. Please remember that your real estate professional has years of experience. We're doing this day in, day out for numerous people. And when we give you professional advice, it's usually better to follow it. Just like when your CPA tells you what you can and cannot write off on your taxes, it's usually a good idea to listen to him because you don't want to end up getting audited. Same thing with your realtor. You don't want to ignore your professional realtor's advice and then it end up costing you tens of thousands of dollars on the sale price of your home. So if you're thinking about selling your home, you need a professional such as myself to help guide you through that process. Feel free to send me a DM or leave a comment below and we'll be in touch.